going to show you a card, okay? You remember the Queen of Hearts. Now, normally, I would have someone put their finger on it, but I'll just put it there on the table. Now, I'm going to show you another card. Please do not get confused. The Nine of Spades. Now, here's where the magic happens. Did you see anything? No, but I think you'll notice something. I just happen to have the Queen of Hearts back in my hand. Check out what's on the table. It's the Nine of Spades. Now, that's not all you can do. You can take the Nine of Spades. You can put it into the middle of the deck. All right. Keep cutting the deck until someone tells you to stop. You can do it as many times as you like, and the Nine of Spades appears back on top. You can do it a different way. You can give it a cut. You can make four piles on the table, and the Nine of Spades can appear on the top of any pile that you like. Of course, it doesn't have to appear on top of that pile. It can appear on top of that pile. The Nine of Spades can appear on top of that pile. It can also appear on top of that pile. Now, I think by now, you probably have a pretty good idea how this works. You're right, I cheat. Yes, I'm using an entire deck of Nine of Spades. Of course, all I have to do is give the deck a cut, snap my fingers, and I've got a whole deck of different cards. So don't be surprised if the next time you come into McCullough's and they show you a card like the Ten of Diamonds, and then they ask you to snap your fingers, don't be surprised if that card changes into the Nine of Spades. That's the Sven Galley deck. It's the oldest trick deck of cards in the entire world, and it's available here at McCullough's.